The weather couldn't be more perfect. Sunny skies as we get set to rumble here at Empire Fight Camp. My name is Todd Grisha. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. About time to. Time for our tale of the tape. Connor Ben. He's 173 centimeters tall with a reach of 173. And he'll be going up against Sugar Ray Leonard. He has a reach of 70 points. And here is the destroyer, Connor Ben, one of those must see type of fighters coming out of the UK. The famous son of a legend who's beating his own path. Sugar Ray Leonard, an undisputed welterweight champion, and he won world titles in five weight classes. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing from Essex, England, a continental welterweight champion. Well, I hope you brought your sunglasses because we're fighting outside, and what a main event this should be. Todd, a beautiful day, but it's going to be somebody's nightmare and somebody's happy night. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. They both won a knockout, you can tell. Got him with a left jab. Do you believe what we're seeing? Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media, it's time to settle the score. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just missed with that left jab. And he caught him with a left hook. Nice counter punch. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the corner man's got to put a firecracker on the fighter. Get out there and get the job done. What do we expect to see here in round two? He just misses with that jab. Then step back for just a moment. Missed him with that uppercut. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. Right. And he fails to score with that left hook. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He missed with that jab. The perfect counter lands. 
And he misses with the left uppercut. Punch, counter punch. He blocks the hook. Nice exchange here from both men. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice counter shot with the right hand. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And there's the bell to start round three. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Solid punch. It's all offense, all the time. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. exchange here from both men. That's a scoring left hand. They walk away from each other and then run right back into trouble. Both men step back for just a moment. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Here we go to the fourth round. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And there he caught him with a stiff jab. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. exchange here from both men. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Yeah. 
Now there is no doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. On to the fifth we go. And he misses with that jab. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when they're in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He takes that jab. This is with that jab. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Punch output, thought there would be uh, some more action here. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. Talk about a one-sided three minutes, we just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Wait, wait, I love that. I love that, that shot great. This is the beginning of round six. That jab misses. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think them. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fake with them, pickpocket them. Can't score with that right uppercut. Two are the perfect dance partners. He threw the hook, didn't land. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest. Here comes round seven. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Do you believe what we 
RC. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. His jab just got blocked. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That one lands. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Hard, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Neither man really defending themselves. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. Fight. It's so important now in the first minute. And we enter the eighth round. He blocks the jab. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Job by him to block that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice slip to avoid the jab. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bro, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Good man. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Watch that jam. You 
seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. showing exceptional chins, by the way. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Nice goal with that left hand. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Can't find a home for that jab. Nice exchange here from both men. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Back. We've made it to round ten. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? This is a high-octane battle. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. They figure out the combination to this safe. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Parries the right jab away. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, it's like two different leaves. One shot at a time. Set him up. I think he'll take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. Nice round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good match. And there's the bell for round 11. Can't find a home in that jab. When are we going to see a jab from these two?
power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain, man. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Can't land the jab there. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Fighter sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with his hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute... And there's the bell for round 12. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Carries that left jab away. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be guessing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Like to see more jabs. These two are the perfect dance partners. That right hook catching air. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? You've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, that is a bit of a surprise. It ends in a draw. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.